Okay, so originally I was just gonna hop on here to talk about the possible collab between FNAF and Fall Guys. Probably wasn't gonna be a very exciting video, but oh boy am I glad I waited because we got some brand new FNAF Plus teasers. Oh yeah, I, I also finally got the core collection. Uh, video soon, I guess. Hey, speaking of videos, did you see my Phasmophobia video? Chances are probably not. It'll be linked down below. Please go check it out. So, thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new, subscribe, smash it, the like button, and let's hop into the news. Okay, so starting off with kind of the smaller news is this possible collab between FNAF and Fall Guys. Basically, Fall Guys is, it's another Battle Royale game, uh, where you go around kind of like wipe out obstacle courses, if you know what that show is, and you, you try and be the last man standing, of course, Battle Royale. And recently, they've been doing quite Quite a few collabs. Portal, most recently Doom, and they tweeted out the other day, what games do you really want to see us collab with at them? Let's see who says hello. And Darko, the man, the myth, the legend himself, says FNAF, DM me. Fall Guys replies with, do you got the hookup? And Darko says, yes, I can try my best to get this to happen. And then he followed me on Twitter. That has nothing to do with the story, I just want to flex that Darko follows me on Twitter now. So. Maybe we can see some FNAF costumes in Fall Guys. I know there are some people out there who don't play Fall Guys anymore or just don't like the game because it was relevant for like one month. But I personally have nothing against the game and I think this this is big, right? Because this is the first time FNAF would do another collab with a different game. And I think that's pretty big. You know, for the longest time, all the way back in last year, people really wanted Springtrap in Dead by Daylight. So if this Fall Guy plan, if this Fall Guys plan goes through, Maybe we can see other, you know, games collab with FNAF and Scott. It might be a little bit difficult though, because, and this is a different scenario, right? If you guys remember, um, the creator of Bendy and, the Ink, Bendy and the Ink Machine, right, the Meatly, he made a tweet saying, it was something along the lines of, what game would you want me to see make or something? I don't know, I can't remember the tweet exactly, I'll put it up on screen right now. And Scott ended up replying to it over on Reddit saying that it most likely wouldn't happen. So it seems like he's not, you know, into developer collaborations, but that doesn't mean he's not into game collaborations. If that makes any sense, I really hope this goes through because this could be huge. Oh, and speaking of Bendy, um, they're also in talks with the Meatly, again, the creator of Bendy and the Ink Machine, to see if they can get Bendy into Fall Guys. It Hopefully all this stuff goes through because this is pretty hype. So now, um, I mean, I guess I can say, again, I got the core collection, I'll make a video on it tomorrow, but let's just freaking talk about FNAF Plus, alright? I have not seen these four videos yet, there's been four that have been released, but only three as of the recording of this section of the video have been discovered, and we are trying so hard to find the fourth one. Hopefully we can get it while I'm still recording, but I may have to do a follow-up follow video tomorrow. Um, but I want to check out these first three videos. It seems like they're each a little over a minute. Again, I haven't really watched them all yet. I've just seen little screenshots and I do want to talk about some of the designs because I know a few people don't actually like the designs and I have some uh, interesting stuff to say. Okay, we're gonna start off with routine check. Again, haven't seen these before. Let's hop into it. I know there's a lot of hidden codes and again, I'll, I'll see what I can do with them. But right now I have other people helping me out with the search. Wake up, okay. 001, I don't know if that's something. There's Freddy, and you can see a little bit of Bonnie. <sighs> I know I know some people don't like the designs, but and I'll get into this more later on, but I freaking love these guys' designs. Look around, okay. So very, you know, FNAF VHS type style. We can see Bonnie has a banjo there. Freddy, of course, with the microphone in hand, being the lead singer. Hmm. Audience greeting, okay. Oh, it's like, uh, from the first trailer. Oh, that's awesome. Good little callback. Small talk, okay. Among the animatronics or among the... Okay, among the animatronics, I'm guessing. It's panning over to Bonnie. Friendly laugh. Oh, friendly laugh. Okay, yeah, yeah, no. Hey, Freddy. Oh, how friendly. Uh, friendly, yeah, friendly, woo! Okay, we'll go by them one by one, starting off with, again, routine check. So, this one appears to be all about Freddy. Since there are three, I'm guessing one's gonna be about Freddy, one about Bonnie, one about Chica. Again, I haven't seen them, so I might be entirely wrong. But this looks like the stage, kind of similar to what it's like in, uh, in FNAF 1. You got the checkerboard pattern behind them, the brick wall behind them as well. 
the uh, the speaker, the red curtain, seems to be about the same. It's mainly just the characters that, that look different. Obviously, the environments are going to be different. I'm not saying that they're, you know, reused from FNAF 1. Hopefully, you get what I mean. I'm just saying that the, the background is very similar. So, let's talk about the characters. We've, we've actually already seen Freddy, so I don't need to talk about him um, quite a bit. I mean, the animations look fantastic, right? So, again, very VHS-type uh, style. I think they look amazing, right? The animations look amazing. I hope we see them in game. That would be cool to see. All right? Look at this. It's so good. It, it, it's it, it's exactly like uh, what an animatronic would move, would move like. So I think that's a good little touch there as well. <laughs> that's creepy. And then you know, friendly laugh. Yeah, I, I hope we see stuff like this in-game. So again, I know this hidden codes. We can hear Freddy's laugh at the end. Kind of like Fredbear's laugh, actually. It reminds me a lot of Fredbear's laugh. But yeah, we've already seen quite enough of Freddy, so I'm not going to stay on this video for too, too long. And instead, I'm going to move on to Quiet Hours. This one is a minute and nine seconds. Let's hop into it. Like normal, we'll watch it through once, all the way. Quiet Hours. Fazbear Entertainment show tapes. So these are show tapes. Not like training tapes, which is interesting. Kind of what you would expect them to be. Oh, it actually looks like a show tape. Hey, Freddy. Panning over to Bonnie. Let's see him. Oh my god, dude. T Bonnie looks terrifying. Oh my god. Legitimately, I love Bonnie's design. Freddy's design, too. I haven't seen much of Chica. Chica also looks terrifying, but I didn't, I didn't really get a good look at her. I know some people are upset about Chica's design, so I'm going to wait till I get a clearer shot before I make my judgment. Actually, what's interesting, you can see the, um, sorry, I know I said we would, we would watch it through all the way at one point. Um, but you can see the clouds and you can see the sun. So again, very similar to the FNAF 1 show stage. Nope. Is there a person running in front of us? Oh, dude, Bonnie's terrifying. I do really like this, though. Oh, there's Chica! Oh my god, I thought- <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh, and, and we fell. Uh, we fell out of our chair. That's great. Dude, I thought FNAF 1 Chica was terrifying on her own. This looks terrifying. I want to see what Mr. Cupcake looks like. Oh, they better not have gotten rid of Mr. Cupcake. You can't. So moving on to stage performance, and I can actually see Chica in the thumbnail. So I'm guessing we'll get a better shot of her in this video. It's nearly two minutes long. It's the longest uh, teaser we've gotten so far. So this is another show tape. I'm kind of hoping we get some voices here. Oh, she's in the middle this time. That's interesting. Hold on. That's interesting. Cupcake looks interesting, too. Also, why is Chica wearing panties? So, it, it's weird to me that they changed positions. Right? What? How? How? <laughs> That's my big question. I know it really doesn't matter, but I want to know, who's moving these characters? Or are they moving themselves? Because surely some character, not character, some employee would notice that, hey, Freddy switched positions with Chica. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too far into this. Mr. Cupcake, what what an interesting new design you have. Bushy mustache. Oh! Now, I would like to say, I would like to say, I would like to say, I don't know if these are the official voices, because being kind of a nerd right here, sometimes what they would do back in the olden days with animatronics is just have them and... Big shocker here, the animatronics don't actually speak out of their mouths. They have speakers. So, I don't know if this is, and I could be reading way too far into this, I don't know if they are just moving Chica's mouth to the to the lyrics of the song, and this is just the singer of the song, or if this is legitimately what Chica's voice is going to be like. I'm sorry I read too far into it, it might just be Chica's voice. Hey, Freddy. I'm so curious how... Bonnie. Terrifying. I'm still curious how Chica's in the middle, but I'll stop talking about it. I saw a lowercase t right there. Another W! Oh my god, that's creepy. 
Killed all the children, though. And Freddy and Bonnie stopped moving, and Chica's only moving her mouth. Creepy. Creepy. Uh-oh? Uh Oh! We're gonna get something? It might just be the end of the song. It's just the end of the song. Okay, so I guess now would be a good time to talk about the character designs. I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like the designs. I went on Twitter, I was bombarded with tweets about the characters looking just too silly. And in my personal opinion, I think they're gonna look a lot scarier when we're actually playing the game. Don't get me wrong, the designs look fantastic. I do think they look a bit silly, but I think that's kind of the point, right? They're supposed to look exaggerated and silly, unless I'm, you know, <laughs> putting words into Phil's mouth here, the creator um, of this game, Fizznom. I do think it's an interesting design to have uh, Mr. Cupcake be like this, but I won't question it. Again, I think these look fantastic, especially Bonnie. My God, that guy's gonna be terrifying in game. Um, Freddy, ah, uh, not so much, but definitely he's 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 still gonna be creepy, right? I think it's you you gotta think about the context of how we're seeing these characters. Yes, we're seeing them in a FNAF VHS uh, style, which is still supposed to be creepy, but we're also seeing them like in some pretty well lit scenarios, and also in a way that. Again, still, it's supposed to be creepy, but, I, like, the game's gonna be so different than this. I, again, going back to animations, I don't know if we're gonna see them in-game. I'm assuming we might, but, again, that's not confirmed, so I don't want to say that right off the bat. Um, the next trailer we get will be a gameplay trailer. Uh, Phil confirmed that. So... I don't know, I guess it'll be confirmed there whether or not we'll see animations in-game or not. But yeah, I think the context of things needs to be um, taken into consideration, right? We're not seeing them like how they're going to appear in-game, right? Because when we're chick- <laughs> chicken- <laughs> When we're checking, not chicken, checking the cameras, we're not gonna see them be performing like this. We're gonna see them like standing in a, a poorly lit hallway just staring at the cameras, right? So I think context here does matter. Um, and again, my final thoughts on the character designs, I think they look fantastic, right? I, I applaud Phil and the amazing work that he's done um, for this game. Cause I'm pretty sure he might be the only person working on all this. So again, huge like round of applause. This, dude, I'm so hyped. I'm legitimately hyped. I know there's a lot of people who don't like the designs, but personally, I, I think they're absolutely terrifying, and I can't wait to see them in-game. Phil, you are doing an amazing job. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's kind of all my thoughts on it right now. I am just waiting for people to try and figure out what the fourth uh, video is. It might be Foxy. If I had to take a guess, that would make sense. If the, if the fourth video was Foxy, he is the fourth member of the band that we are missing, and we haven't seen anything on him just yet. So that's where I'm gonna hold off for right now. Again, I'll, I'll make a video tomorrow if there's an update. Hopefully there's an update. And uh, <laughs> if, if it gets solved before the video is posted, just keep in mind that I had to edit this video, make the thumbnail, you know, all that stuff. So... I, I, I already finished the video if it got solved tonight. I'll talk about it tomorrow. Along with the core collection, boys, let's go. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm very excited for this game. I think they I think it looks amazing. I can't wait for more updates on it. I can't wait to um to finally play it. Whenever it comes out, Phil, take your time. Again, you're doing amazing work. Keep it up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.